Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. I oh, man, that's a great... I, I actually, I've seen that now like four or five times. Every time I'm like, yeah. Uh, I still haven't mastered that spell. I keep trying. Still? No. We got to work on that. We'll work on that later. <laughs> now, you started working on the Harry Potter films when you were really young. What was your casting process like for the film? My casting process was actually kind of funny because, as most people know, I'm dyslexic and I didn't read Harry Potter before my audition. So I get a phone call off my agent saying, okay, you've got to go for an audition over in the UK. So I'm thinking, sweet. So they say you're going over to meet Harry Potter. So I was like, fine, great. So we flew over and I got to meet... When I went over, it was like, okay, so uh, this is Harry Potter, cool. And all of a sudden I come over and the director comes over, so I say, hi Harry, how are you? <laughs> and everybody's like, uh, what are you talking about? This is Chris Columbus, the director. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I actually, I met Matthew Lewis there on the, the same day, I think. You were going for the audition as well for Neville. So, uh, yeah, I went there, I done the screen test, and literally two days later, I found out that I had the part at the read-through, which wow. was pretty cool. That's a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, it was deadly. And you, here you are now. And I'm still hey, going strong. Just There you go. <laughs> it's the only way to be, man. Now, we know that Seamus, the character, loves to blow things up. We also Typical. heard that you held kind of a rather awesome achievement for breaking the most prop wands. <laughs> How did that happen? And, and do you think you're similar to your character, Seamus, in any way? Okay, well, the wands, that's all Matthew Lewis's fault, again. <laughs> because in the first Harry Potter film, uh, Neville comes in and he has the leg locker curse. And Seamus goes over and he's like, Neville, I can sort that out for you. And Neville's like, hang on there. What was, what was the line? If I let you do it, you'll blow my bloody kneecaps up or something. And Seamus gets really, really angry. So he gets his wand and he slams it on the table, says something to Neville and then storms off. But every time I slammed the wand on the table, I broke it because they were made like, they were like really thin, so yeah. <laughs> Typical me. I only, I only broke one wand. Only one? I broke like 20 in one day <laughs> doing that. But coming back to being like Seamus in real life, I'm definitely like Seamus. I'm clumsy. I blew up my uh, microwave twice. My most Still recent... blowing stuff up. That's good. <laughs> my most recent was in June. So, uh, yeah, like I still haven't learned. How, how... I think that's what it is. I do miss it, of course. But to be fair, I don't actually go in there and put like something metal in it and it blows up. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I swear. The first time there was something metal in it, the second time there wasn't. <laughs> I learned. It's a good lesson to learn. Now, speaking of all the explosions, you've had a lot of them in your face. <laughs> what was that like? What was it like? having all those explosions in your face. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was kind of, it was kind of cool. It was an experience. <laughs> uh, I just see Matthew Luther there giggling away, and he's kind of set me off. But, uh, yeah, like, it was, it was really cool. I was, my very first explosion was on the first movie. Now everybody else is giggling and setting me off. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, yeah, it was on the very first one, and it was with uh, Professor Flitwick. And it was on my 13th birthday, and I'd done it, and it was great. What they done is they had to use, like, special bulbs, and they were, like, the old-fashioned cameras that had one flash. So they used, like, 20 or 30 uh, bulbs to get the light and the explosion. So that was cool. The problem was, because they had so many and the power going into them was insane, they kept on actually blowing up. So the actual glass was smashing and flying everywhere. So that was kind of, you're kind of dodging all the shards of glass. But Seamus has blown up quite a few things. He, I think he had three proper explosions over the course of the movies. And you're still doing it in the microwave and everything Still else. the microwaves. So we're just keeping the tradition going. Now, now in the films, your characters generally seem to hang out with other characters from your same house. Now, did you feel a sense of loyalty to your fellow Gryffindor classmates? 
On set, uh, it was kind of, everybody was just all oh, best mates, you know? You, you wouldn't say, oh, I'm not gonna hang out with Tom, Jamie, or anyone like that because they're in Slytherin. So, no, but on, when you're filming, of course, like, Seamus wouldn't have probably, no, actually, no, I think in the movie, I always thought that Seamus should have been an undercover spy for Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, I, I always thought that. I always thought Seamus should run back to, like, Draco Malfoy and tell him, come here, this is what they're all doing over here. <laughs> I, it's just something Boy. that I always thought from the very beginning. Sorry? Come here, now. He's yeah, writing a whole other book over, over there by himself. himself. <laughs> What's that? It's all coming out now, blowing up Slytherin's microwaves and all sorts. <laughs> That's it. They kick him out after the first week. After three microwaves, you're done. Now, leading into that, your character, Seamus, was Gryffindor. You, what would your house be? Uh, for me, it would probably be Slytherin. <laughs> Definitely. Like, I'm ambitious, so in, in everything I do, like, um, I want to be, do it the best. And I think that's very much like Slytherin, as far as I'm aware. I, they are, like, that's one of their things, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yes. See? I do know stuff. <laughs> Ivan is just looking Clearly at me saying... his research. Yeah. <laughs> Devin, that is all the questions I have for you. Thank you very much, man.